The 74th World Health Assembly Monday brought together the world's foremost minds on the COVID-19 pandemic. This country's Prime Minister, the Honorable Gaston Brown, addressed the virtual gathering and used alliteration to full effect in describing the havoc wreaked by COVID-19. To refuse vaccines is to court death. We are fighting a war with a grim, pernicious and pervasive reaper of death and destruction. No nation has escaped it. No nation is immune from it, and no nation can isolate itself from it. Urgent calls to action took center stage in the Prime Minister's presentation. Brown highlighted the pressing need for vaccine equity. It should distress us all that of the 1.6 billion vaccines already administered globally, over 50% have gone to wealthy countries, while low-income countries and vulnerable states have received minuscule amounts. Vaccine equity is critical to achieving global herd immunity and to contain the emergence of more deadly and debilitating COVID-19 variants. This ignoble system of vaccine apartheid must end and end now. Prime Minister Brown also denounced travel restrictions against countries like Antigua Barbuda and inequitable access to the COVAX facility. These, he says, should come to an immediate halt. Our countries are teetering on the brink of economic disaster. In this context, we make an appeal to relax travel restrictions for vulnerable small states and rectification of the qualifications for access to the COVAX facility so that account is taken of the profound vulnerabilities of small island states. Vulnerability should be one of the determinants for vaccine accessibility. The assembly was convened under the theme Ending this pandemic, preventing the next, building together a healthier, safe and fairer world. For ABS News, I'm Ursula Charles Jr.